n n by n square matrix with the real entries such that a square equal to a and rank of a minus identity matrix equal to m then nullity of a is what we have to find using rank nullity theorem i can write nullity of a equal to n minus rank of a so call this is an equation one and uh, it is given that uh, a square equal to a and this is the condition or the satisfying condition or defining condition of idempotent matrix idempotent matrix so a is an idempotent matrix then we know the relation or you can say concept used to solve this problem is if a is idempotent matrix then i can write trace of a equal to rank of a means a square equal to a it means that for idempotent matrix characteristic polynomial will be x square equal to x because we know that by using kelly hamilton theorem every matrix satisfying is uh, satisfying its characteristic polynomial using this concept x square equal to x uh, and i can write x square minus x equal to 0 so values of x will be x equal to 0 and 1 these are the eigen values of matrix a and for trace in trace only ones will contribute because we know that uh, trace is sum of all eigen values so there is no contribution of eigen values which are zeros and uh, for rank we know that rank is number of non zero eigen values rank is number of non zero eigen values number of non zero eigen values it means that trace of a equal to rank of a this concept is uh, same satisfy now try to find the relation n a equal to n minus rank of a and uh, rank of a i can replace trace of a because of a is idempotent matrix and uh, i know the concept of concept or given condition is rank of a minus identity matrix is m so anyhow i want to form the relation same a minus i type so in place of n i can write trace of identity matrix because trace of identity matrix is n so trace of i minus trace of a and trace is linear function so trace of i minus a for this i can write rank of i minus a and rank of i minus a can be same as rank of a minus i and this is given that m so nullity of a is equal to m